with the Agriculture, Plant, Science, and Technology program here. I just want to go over a little bit of uh, what you'll be doing here as a freshman. Um, with a short amount of time, I try to get as much hands-on experience for you guys and touch just a little bit of theory. And then once you did or decide to take this class full time, we'll get into more theory. So today, I do this with my freshman now. We do a little bit of food science labs. We touch in a lot of different uh, sciences within agriculture and food science is one sector. Uh, we do the ice cream, uh, make the ice cream in the bag, and the students have just a series of questions they have to answer, just like you were going to do it in a science room. So first off, we would read a little bit about the background of this ice cream lab, and heat has to either be gained or lost, and when you're going through the steps, you'll know everything that you do. And it's really important with the steps that you follow everything in order. Because if you don't follow in order, it will mess up the whole experiment. So, the first thing that you need will be a pork size Ziploc bag. Um, I have two different recipes with us today. You can either use the heavy whipping cream or milk. With the heavy whipping cream, it's just going to be a little bit more creamier. I'm going to go ahead and use the recipe for the milk. So, you take your Ziploc bag and you need one cup of milk. So, I'm just going to pour my milk into this cup. Now, you'll be doing this with a partner when you're here, so it's a lot easier and one partner can help you hold the bag when dumping. So I have one cup of milk, and I'm gonna dump the milk into the bag carefully. And then the next thing that the lab calls for is you're going to combine the sugar. So it's just pure sugar cane, nothing special about the sugar. Uh, you can find it at Wise or any grocery store. So we're going to use, it calls for one fourth cup of sugar. So we're going to use one fourth cup. Make sure that if you have any clumps like this, that you just break it down. And make sure, I'm just going to use a spoon here to level it off. Alright, so now we're going to combine the milk and sugar. And the next product that you'll need is just regular vanilla. You can use impatient vanilla or pure vanilla. It's really up to you. Uh, you will need a uh, teaspoon and a half of vanilla. You can add, if you're at home, you can add more if you like vanilla. I know I like sweet things, so I like to add a little bit of vanilla and sugar extra. Like I said, it's a lot easier with a partner because the partner will be holding the bag open. So there's my teaspoon. Now I'm going to take the half teaspoon. All right. So now that you have those three ingredients, so that's all you need in the quart size of block bag. So you just need either the heavy whooping cream or the milk or the sh and then sugar and vanilla. When you're sealing this though, you got to make sure all the air is out of the bag. So I like to just close it three quarters of the way and push some, push the rest of the air out and then finish sealing. Just double check and triple check to make sure that it's actually sealed. Okay, so now, we need 
one third cup and one tablespoon of the salt, which is, it's the bigger salt, but it's called ice cream salt. So it's big crystals. And you're gonna have a gallon, or yeah, a gallon size Ziploc bag. I like to use two and double bag it because when you're shaking your uh, smaller quart size bag in here, sometimes it can leak out and then you're also gonna put ice in it as well. So I just like to use two bags. So first, just first, we put the salt in before we put the ice. Oops. It's a little messy. Try and make sure most of the salt goes into the measuring cup and not on the table, like I did. So here's one third cup of salt, and then let me get my tablespoon of salt. The smarter way to do it is pour some salt into a bowl and then scoop out what you need. All right, so now for ice, uh, you're going to be using a cup of uh, cups. Now, one recipe calls for five to six, and the other recipe really doesn't tell you how much, so we're just going to go with the five to six cups. It's 
So this is ice cream in a bag. And if you wanted to, to finish off the product, you add a little bit of sprinkles and enjoy your ice cream.